how often do you use the words like kind of kind sort actually and like these words are called fillers if you notice and listen native speakers professionals educationist and other professionals you notice and you observe that they don't use these words and one sentence comes into my mind that stop using the word like and you will sound more intelligent and it is reality that if you use and overuse these phrases and these fillers you represent yourself less confident less knowledgeable and more insecure about what you know and it may be distracting remember this thing good communicators professionals educationists and native speakers they don't use fillers because they know what they exactly want to communicate and they are precise in their speech they are not verbose and what is meant by verbose verbose means using too many words when they are not needed and now if you use them you seem to be more teenager because teenager use these kind of fillers and one sentence you may say that it cost me like 100 dollars here the word like doesn't mean anything you can use it cost approximately 100 dollars and it sounds correct and often you observe that teenagers usually like to say like for example and we like came home and we like watch tv and in this way you represent yourself and you are sounding like less professional less knowledgeable so here are my some tips which will help you a lot to be more professional in your speech and to be more concise in your speech and you will not focus on these kind of fillers number one tip is that record yourself talking yes record your voice what you are talking and then play back and observe and listen how many times you use these kind of fillers and again record yourself talking again and observe that now you have limited yourself and now you have eliminated the use of fillers this technique will help you to eliminate these kind of fillers from your speech and you will be more concise you will be more pre precise and you will be more authentic in your speech number 2 tip is it's okay to be to pause to have a pause it's okay to be silent rather than using these kind of fillers because when you are silent and when you pause in your speech it draws the attention of the listener the, the listeners attentively listen to your next words so it's my suggestion and it's my tip not to use fillers instead to you can take a gap and then can say you can say this and this pause or this silence is powerful in your speech and good communicators leaders of the world use this technique in order to be more appealing in their talk next the final tip is that you should have to work on your english vocabulary yes improve your vocabulary because the more words you know the the more king concise you will be and the more effective you will be in your talk let me know in the comment section do you sound professional or do you use these kind of fillers and are these techniques helpful for you and which kind of technique you are already following in your 
speech thank you so much stay happy stay blessed have a nice day